reacting to KSI's thoughts on Deji losing. Let's go. Yo, what's up? It's your boy KSI. What's uh, up? Back in my house. I had a little getaway. So a whole farmhouse. Oh, dude, he keeps get... saying this. He keeps being like, yo, what's up? I've been gone for a minute. I'm like, dude, you just posted. He's posting like two times a week. He's being hella active. It's this is the most active I ever remember JJ being like ever. Nice and relaxing. Obviously, He's like, I'm on tour and it's like four videos come out boy, that way. Uh, Midway through my getaway, traveled to Wembley, Wembley Arena, to see uh, some fights, as well as to see my brother uh, fight as well against Alex, that guy. And uh, first of all, let me talk about the event. Uh, the event goes, was yeah? entertaining, but a mess at the same time. First of all, the guy who did the races rant to uh, Salt Pappy, he's an idiot. What? God knows why, after saying something outrageous on the mic, something just racist on the mic, uh, the organizers still allowed Allowed him to continue his rant. I don't know why he was allowed to carry on, but uh, yeah, that was. Especially because awesome. I, I like I don't know if you guys know they can literally just turn their mic off. Like there's switches, they can just go, and the mic doesn't work anymore. They can just do that at any time. The fight with uh, Jake Paul's sparring partner, that was atrocious. Both men weren't even trying, and Jake Paul's sparring partner still lost. So that was pretty <laughs> funny. Terrible to watch, and uh, yeah, yeah, another loss on his record. Traveled all that way to lose again. <laughs> so he's lost to Tommy Fury and a nobody. Ryan Taylor headbutted DK Money and got disqualified, uh, rightly so. But for some reason, DK Money wasn't announced as the winner. So yeah, that was a bit stupid. Vitaly got headbutted three times. I think that's the weirdest part of these uh, like YouTube boxing events is some people have their real name and some people have like their gamer tag name. And it's such a weird dynamic, isn't it? It's so strange. <laughs> Christian Hamby just did didn't get disqualified. <laughs> so, no consistency. I mean, what's even more funny is that Christian even admitted <laughs> after the fight that he headbutted Vitali. And still, out of all of that, the fight was a draw. Like, <laughs> absolute mess. <laughs> absolute mess. Look, I could go on and on and on about Dude, this I event because there was, uh, there was a lot that went wrong and very little that went right. And if I'm being honest, I feel like if I did events, it would just be better than all these YouTube <laughs> events combined. <laughs> better than Jake Paul's, better than Austin with brooms, better than all of them fans. I mean, every time I've headlined a boxing show, it's been good. <laughs> so that's I've true. Very good to be record. fair. And I know how to fucking put on a very Some good of the show. thriller shows have been weird as hell. Like aside that the thriller shows that Jake has put on. Hey, thank you so much, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The thriller shows have been mad weird. They've been so odd. And like Logan and KSI's events, I feel like have been the best of all the YouTube boxing events. I think, like by far, easily. Would you guys agree? Is there is has there been a YouTube boxing event that went better than the Logan versus KSI events? I thought those were the best. So, yeah, trailer right shows are weird. Make sure everything is secure and everything is you know going smoothly, and there's just no bullshit. So you ain't got. And that boxers actually get paid. That would be a positive. That you know. <laughs> fucking random singer just singing for five ten minutes. You're just. That's there, what I hate about trailer. I want to see some fights. What's going on? I didn't sign up for a concert yes. or some fucking slap contest halfway through it or some stupid <laughs> racist rant <laughs> before boxing match. Bro, there's a lot that went wrong with all these YouTube events and I feel like I can improve on all of them. So yeah, if I was to do it, I'd do it right. But anyway, uh, let me talk about the Deji fight. Yes, the Deji fight. I'm kinda, right. I'm, I... uh, Deji, I... I'm, I'm disappointed. That's honestly how I feel, man. I'm sorry if that's not what you want to hear, but it's it's the truth. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. I I expected more from you. Oh, all, shit. Me. Guys, I thought he was going to say, like, I'm proud of Deji for training hard, regardless of the result. Oh, that. Wise. How did you think you were ever gonna win this fight? Like what? What, what was the game plan? You're the shorter fighter. You, you've got a smaller reach. So then tell me, why were you- I thought he- because he came in in shape. I thought he was- because last time he didn't come in in shape. This time he came in in shape. I thought that he was gonna say I'm proud of you for coming in shape. Slipping backwards. Why were you constantly slipping out of range? Uh... Like this is how I know you don't even watch boxing. In general, like I was just watching you fight, and I just saw you weren't using oh, your brain so at bad. all. Like, how are you going to win a fight against a taller, a taller fighter on the outside? That's you just stayed on the outside range. You rarely went in, and then whenever you did go in, you would just ruin all your hard work by holding him, by by clinching. You just ruined everything, and then he was out muscling you 
in the clinch. Like when it comes to fighting a taller fighter, you have oh. to take one punch to give two. That's just it. That's just what you have to deal with. You have to slip inside to to get in range. You have to outwork him. Where was the overhands? Where was where was the body work? Where were the hooks? You literally did nothing but avoid punches. Like, do you th did you actually think you would Guys, win? Guys, I feel like I'm in the room while someone's getting lectured by their parent right now. I thought this was gonna be a wholesome video where he's like, yeah, you know, I'm proud of you for showing up in shape, but I, I hope you don't box again just because I don't want you to save your brain. You've gone three times, you showed you show up in shape. I thought it was gonna be like nice and then like, oh, but maybe don't do it again. Woo! This is hot. By just doing that. I'm <laughs> sorry, but your whole game really plan hot. was wrong. If you're he came in really hot. This is like hot as hell. Ooh. Your game plan was to not punch. Then what the fuck are you doing entering the ring? Alex Wasabi is shit. Okay, I've made a whole video on this guy laughing at him. He's a joke. This was meant to be your easy fight and you lost. Now notice in the title, I didn't even say my thought on Deji versus Alex Wasabi fight because he is so... Irrelevant. <laughs> He's not worthy oh. to put in my fucking titles. I just don't understand. How are you going to lose your redemption fight to Alex Wasabi, man? This guy is literally a child in a grown man's body. I like, literally, after the fight, my mom was talking about wanting candy. How old? He's 31, bro. He's 31. And he's like, yo, I just want some candy. What's going on, man? You lost to a CBBC presenter. You lost to a, a Disney presenter. Like, I just don't understand how you came through like, oh, I'm going to fuck him up. When I get in that ring, he's finished. And then you get in the ring and you don't even punch. You don't even use your hands. Man, make it make sense. Did you, where was, where was the belief? You actually made <gasps> Alex Wasabi look good. You made this man look good. This man look good. This man. Did you tell me, how are you going to lose weight, get fitter, and still throw less punches than you did when you were fat? You threw less punches at 77 kg than when you were 93 kg. And the thing is, I don't understand how you've somehow got people telling you that you performed better. Yes, slipped better. Yes, the slipping phenomenal but that was it Dej. that was it you didn't really show fitness because you didn't punch so we didn't get to see how fit you were like to me you did worse because you just I feel like I shouldn't be listening to this like I feel like we I shouldn't like I feel like chat and, co and YouTube comments and me shouldn't be here you know what I mean like I feel like this should be them I, I feel like I'm in a private room where they're talking about the fight and he's getting reamed out by like his brother and his or his coach or whatever, right? I I feel like we shouldn't be here. I feel like this is something between them that we shouldn't be here for. You know what I'm saying? Just threw less I'm a bit uncomfortable. against Vinny Acker. You can fool your audience, Deji, but you you can't fool me. I don't feel like JJ's wrong. You know that you, I'm not saying I feel like he's wrong. I just don't. This is like oh. It hurts just because it's so public. Does that? I, I don't think he's wrong. I don't think he's wrong to say it to Deji. I feel wrong for being here when it happens. Does that make sense? Like, like when my friend's yelling at when your when your friend's mom is yelling at them. Does that make sense? You simply Oof. just didn't do enough. So Deji, let's just stop with this whole narrative that you did better in this fight than you did in the last fight. Yeah. First of all, I think like, he prepared better. He prepared better. I think that's what everyone's saying. He did better. I don't think they're actually saying he fought better because I've we I think they're saying he repair he prepared more responsibly for the fight like he came in in shape. I think that's what people mean. I don't think they're saying he fought better. I think they're just saying like he was actually responsible about his diet and training, which is an improvement from the Vinny fight. Does that make sense? Like anything would have. Do been I bad. think this should have been in private? I kind of do think it should be in private. But it's their relationship and they're both YouTubers, so it's very different than how you would treat a relationship with somebody who's not in the public eye. I don't know. I I would make it private personally, but they're both YouTubers. They have a relationship. They, they, they probably have talked about this kind of thing and have set guidelines and ways they like to handle it. We don't know. So I, I don't want to say they should do it. Would I handle it in private? Yes. Should they handle it in private? I don't know. It's good for both of them from a content standpoint. It helps Deji from a content standpoint, right? Like, this is good for Deji from a business standpoint. 
Would I want to air this out in public? No. Should they do it? I don't know. That's the real truth. I have no idea. It depends on what their, uh, what their relationship and what they've talked about behind the scenes and all that stuff, which we don't know about. Better than your last fight. Bo, gave up. After taking a one minute break, you went on your knees and <laughs> needed more break. And secondly, you still lost. You still lost. You're 0-3, Ditch. You've lost Ooh. three times. You know, the first one, first time that I was properly proud of you because I could see that you put your all into it. You put 110%. Yes, you lost, but it was close, and you tried. Second fight, bro, dismiss that. That that don't count. Like that's atrocious. Third fight, cool. You did a Be little fair. bit better slipping. You threw less, and you lost still against Alex Wasabi, man. Let's not forget. It's this guy, bro. <laughs> and you know what really pissed me off as well? Your video, fam. Your video just pissed me off, man. Cool, you're not a quitter. That's good, all right? Happy days. But at least be humble in defeat, fam. I hated that. At the end of the video, you were like, oh, congrats, you know, my guy. Uh, you hit me like eight times, though, but <laughs> yeah. well played. Bro, you lost. What are you doing? What are you doing? Nigga, at least he hit you. At least he hit you. Did you hit him? Did you even throw to hit him? Like, what one? Cool, you evaded the shots. Then what? What did you do then? You just looked at him. You just stared at him, fam. You didn't do the most basic thing in boxing. Punching. He he fully just outworked you. So at least be humble in defeat, man. You literally think that's have fair. no legs to stand on. You have no legs to stand on now, bro. First fight, cool. Second fight, okay. Third fight, am I a dickhead? Am I a dickhead? And the thing is, you still have- I think, I think JJ's maybe a bit of a dickhead for the video, but that doesn't make him wrong. <laughs> He's not wrong. He's being a bit of a dick, but is he wrong though? Like, is he wrong though? Like, you could say he shouldn't say this in public, right? But he's not wrong. Maybe he could say it nicer, but he's not wrong. I don't know Deji well enough. That's the other thing too. Some people need to hear like hard, brutal truth. I did watch Deji's video off stream and I do think he was a little bit delusional in parts of it. So maybe he needs a reality check. Maybe the only way he'll listen is if it's in public. I don't know. Some people can't handle this. I, I don't know that I would be able to handle this in public from someone that I like knew and cared about and respected. But he's not wrong. He maybe could say it better, but he's not wrong. People in your audience. But maybe he maybe he, if he said it more nicely, it wouldn't be taken seriously. You get what I'm saying? I don't know. Be like, you know oh. what? Next time, bro. Fam, how many times yeah, until you're going to get serious? Now, Deji, I want you to listen to this. I didn't... I, that's the, the part of Deji's video that bothered me the most wasn't even kind of like, oh, the eight punches thing. It was when he was saying like, oh, if I had had my current coach for six weeks, oh, I'd be a destroyer and stuff like that. I just think that attitude, it's not good. He kept on... Like, it was an external locus of control where he was like, oh, yeah, if I had my coach, I'd be a destroyer. And it's like, bro, Deji, you can't... You either get the fight done and you win or you don't. You can't keep on making these weird, like, three-part, three-step reasons. It's like this was his PowerPoint for why he lost, and it wasn't Deji's fault. It was like, oh, I didn't have the right coach, and then this and then that. And it's like, it happens, man. There's never going to be a camp where everything's perfect, you know? Reason uh, why I am well. But I am proud. He, like, came in in shape, and I do think that's very admirable. Like, he came in in shape, and he prepared for the fight, and that does deserve respect, I am to today. be fair. That's because most does. of the time, I do everything that I do for me. When it came to the music, I did it for me. If I did it for people, fam, I would never be doing music. Do you know how many people were hating on me? Saying, oh, you can't do music, <sighs> you shit, stop trying. If I listened to all those people back then, I wouldn't be getting a number one album. I wouldn't be getting top fives, top tens. I wouldn't be selling out Wembley Arena. Same with YouTube, I did that shit for me. Same with boxing, I did that shit for me. Yes, here and there I help people and do what I can to, you know, make people's day. But most of the time, I do shit for me. So, what really annoyed me, man, was when you were asking the crowd, straight after losing, being like, yo, should I fight again? Should I fight again? Why are you asking them? Is it their decision? If they literally told you, no, don't <laughs> do it, does that mean you're not gonna do it? If the audience told you to run into a wall, you're gonna run into a wall, fam. Like, but bro, I feel like the answer is yes. Like, I think he's like, will you guys watch me fight again? Cause like, if there wasn't money in it, I don't think he would do it. You know what I'm saying? That's not living the lifestyle, like taking a big fight like this. Ah. It's this mentality, fam. When are you gonna finally do something for yourself? Now I know we were gonna be like, oh, JJ, you're being so harsh. 
you're being mean or you're being fair. <laughs> I don't care, fam. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not talking to all these people. I'm talking to you, Dave. But then, this is what I don't get. This is what I don't get. This is what I don't understand. And I don't know well enough, right? Because I don't know them in real life. We just see them on the internet. And it's cool. We, we really like them as content creators and stuff, right? So we feel invested in their lives. We don't know them. This is what I don't get. Because I think JJ's telling the truth. But in that case, wouldn't it be better to have this conversation face to face? You guys get what I'm saying? Like, do you guys get what I'm saying? He's not talking to any of us, but he's talking to all of us because he posted on his YouTube channel with 10 million subscribers. But maybe that's the only way Denji will listen. I don't know. That's the counter argument that I can come up with in my head. It's like, okay, he's tried to do this in person before and it had no effect and Deji just kind of shook him off. But a public shout out or call out, let's call it what it is. This is a call out. A public call out makes him listen, which could be the case. And the truth is, none of us know either of them well enough to know, right? But, ah, whoo. I told you, even all Some people need to be held publicly accountable. That Some people do. Like, some people, it just, that's what helps them. And that's what makes them listen. And that's what makes them change. Some people, that's like the worst thing for them. And I don't know. The, the fight. The, I'm Ooh. just frustrated, man. I'm just frustrated. You've lost three times. Three times, man. Do you like losing? Because it looks like you just love it when people feel sorry for you. When do you gonna get serious when are you gonna st stop making excuses for yourself remember on um christmas day i told you to pull out of the fight i know you remember this i told you pull out the fight you know why because you don't have the right mentality you don't have the right mentality to win a fight so until that changes you shouldn't enter the ring i told you to go on a 5k on did you guys hear that that was the craziest thing in the video to me so far. Christmas day, and you ended up doing 1K and complaining that your back hurts. You don't think my shit hurts when I run and this and that, but I still just keep going. I still push through. So I gave you the benefit of the doubt. The Ooh. next day, I was like, let's go on another run. Fam, you didn't even, <laughs> you didn't even do it. You were like, nah, I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm chilling in bed. You had a fight, bro. You had a fight in a few months. And you wanted to just chill in bed while I'm out here still running and I, I, I'm not even fighting anyone. So like I said, you don't have what it takes to win a boxing fight. I feel like you think you're just going to be handed a win when you actually have to go get it. That's boxing. You can't just go in the ring and just win, bro. You have to throw a punch. <laughs> God damn it, man. You have to throw to win a fucking boxing match. But yeah, man, I don't think you have what it takes to win a boxing match. But you know what? That's really good context, Saber. That's really good context. It's it's, it's okay. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't have what it takes to win tennis or win <laughs> ice skating or a dancing competition or even golf. I'm, I'm terrible at golf. Believe it or not, Sheesh. I'm not good at everything in life, Dage. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with not being the best at everything. Maybe this will explain things better. This is more my, my mentality when it comes to things. Life isn't about being the best. It's all about doing the best that you can. That's and fair. you simply didn't. And that's why I'm oh. so disappointed. You know, that's all I have to say. To be fair, like we, none of us really have much access to Deji's trading camp. Like. He would, uh, JJ would know way more about what happened behind the scenes with the training camps and stuff like that and how much work he was actually putting in. I don't know, man. This is rough. This is rough. This is really rough. I do feel like if Deji even wants to continue boxing, he should just train for a year like a boxer, right? Like train for a year with his coaches, not in a camp, just getting better, staying in shape for a year. And if after that year, he's still like talking about how much he loves boxing and loves the lifestyle, maybe take a fight, maybe. But if he doesn't do a whole year of like technique and just staying in shape, like not fight shape, but like in shape for a whole year, I don't want to see this man fight again for his sake. Like, man, that's brutal. Like, just run and box in the gym for a year and then take a fight. Maybe. If after all that, you still love boxing. You know what I'm saying? If he doesn't do all that and stay in the gym for one year working on the craft and staying in shape, no point. No point at this. Bring your boy KSI. Oh. I'm sick of doing these type of videos, man. I'm sick of it. I'm just sick of it. Just... Be serious. Be serious. Take 
Shit, seriously, man. <sighs> Alright, well. Yeah. Peace. Well, that was rough as hell, huh, boys? Yeesh! Oh! Well, this didn't age well. What, 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 what? Oh, no. <laughs> the one question go. Oh, no. I feel bad for Deji. We don't know them personally well enough to comment, I think, but damn, that was a that was a brutal ass video. That was a brutal video. Maybe he needed it as a wake up call. I don't know, but I do agree with, I don't think JJ said anything that was wrong. It's just, the only thing you can criticize is like the context and the, 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 the tone, right? But he didn't say anything that was wrong, but man.